All right, it's finally here. The NFL season kicks off officially tomorrow. And while the games sure are very exciting, so are the tailgate dips and dishes. Kate McGee is here. She's the owner of CLT Charcuterie, and she's going to share a crowd-pleasing recipe for upcoming game day that actually looks really cute, too. Kate, how are you? Good, how are you doing? I'm good. Welcome back. We're glad to have you in the kitchen again. Um, tell everybody a little bit about what you do at CLT Charcuterie. So at CLT, CLT Charcuterie, we do customizable charcuterie orders. Um, we do different sizes. You can do everything from something small for you and a partner to an entire wedding grazing table or tailgate season. Which um, is going to be really fun. It is a football cheese ball. Yes. I love a cheese ball. It, it, the best thing about cheese balls is that you can make like anything with them. You can go like fancy, like we actually have like an apple feta today, but you can go as simple as plain cream cheese. It's the best combo for any skill level. And it's, I mean, it's just so, and then when it's done and people haven't finished it, do, 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 you put it back in a ball, you put it in the fridge, you use it for the next party. Exactly. exactly. Yeah, it's perfect for that. All so. right, so tell me what's in the cheese. Okay, so this one, we went ahead and I'm going to start working on it. But basically, okay. we took the cream cheese, added apple, and I threw in feta. You can do it anything you like, bacon, um, fruits. I just like to lighten it up a little for the whole the season. Yes. So for this particular cheese ball, I already shaped it into a football and let it kind of chill a little bit. Okay. So we're then going to put on the stripes of the the stripes of the football, and I'm gonna oh throw these gosh. on real quick for you. That's adorable. And then, and that's just other cheese. This is just other cheese. I would use something firm like a um, provolone. This is a Havarti. It was a little soft, so it wasn't my favorite to work with. Yeah. Um, but then, however many stripes you're gonna put on, then I'll let you put the bacon on. Oh, okay. Try to kind of like press it in, and it's gonna fall to the sides. Okay. And because what it's gonna do is wrap around the cheese that's not sticky as far as like the actual um yeah help me so yeah funny. the actual like cream cheese versus the Havarti or Schmitz right. in this case so. so you want it but you want it to cover like the whole exactly did you make this bacon uh I did not I'll good. be honest this and that's is called good. store bought pre-cooked bacon because I did not have the time but definitely the finer the chopped I would say another good tip um, would be other toppings, say you're not a meat eater. Yeah. Um, crumbled nuts or like pureed nuts, then you could get a really good coating yeah. on the cheese ball. Or um, I saw one with mini chocolate chips. <gasps> I want that one. Or really, or the cheese ball, you could use cheddar cheese, you could roll it in that. There's just so many choices. So fun. Once you we kind of get that, this guy, yeah. I, that'll drive me crazy. I kind of press it together <sighs> for that reason. And you can do it overnight. You can see it like the color is a little better the fresh day. Yeah. But like I said, the smaller the bacon, the better because it'll fill all those holes. Well, that is so, so once it's kind of on there, if you, you know, we're going to put it on its lovely football board oh here. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. And then you can kind of do it like you would any other charcuterie thing. So we've got different choices here. You can put yep. some, we got some crackers you can add to the board. Okay. There is different um, salamis. Like this is a fresh fig I had to cut because talking about fall. Look at this figs beautiful are, fig. I love figs. I Where think they are. Where did you get this beautiful fig? That one is from Harris Teeter. Uh huh. Um, <laughs> well done. But they, you can Teeter. find them at the South End Farmers Market. A couple others. Uh -huh. um, so I like to put those with the board. Okay. Um, you do it because you're the pro. Yeah, sure. And then like like we did some crackers here. No, just go ahead and put the grapes wherever you want them. Okay. And that's the nice thing about charcuterie boards is you can also like move things. Or like we call these rivers, you can like make their meat like run down the board, like with it, right? Oh. So it goes with the oh. side and makes it like a nice little edge. A river of meat. Yes. Same with rivers of cheese. Uh huh. And then again, it's however you want to make your board. Do you want to add extra meat over here? Do you want more crackers? Do you yeah. want to also put a queso over here? Yeah, but, I do. But like, <laughs> yeah, I, I want to put all, all the cheese. of the above, please. Yes. Um, and then once you kind of have it layered, I would say the last step would just kind of be to be like maybe think about some decor. So I gave you a couple options <gasps> here. Oh my gosh. So I made a little like you could, here's the, here's the perfect one for this weekend. Oh yeah, that's good. That's perfect. So you can get like pre-made ones. I actually just took a sticker on this one and went ahead and put a Panther sticker on a pre-made thing. But anything you want to decorate, Cute. you know, you can make it as steamy as you want. And again, it just took a few minutes to make a cheese ball and then stick in some decorations and you're all set for your holiday party. That is so Football fun. Party. Let's put all of the information up on the screen. Um, so really you can put any kind of whatever mix in you want. Yeah, honestly, if you're being really like times are tough, yeah. just take that square and just cut the edges so it looks like a, a flat. Because it works a little bit better if it's a little bit flat. So just cut it 
All done. All done. Beautiful. Follow on Instagram and Facebook as well. Of course, everything we do in the QC Kitchen ends up on our QC Kitchen.